Well, I hope you've all had a really good Christmas and New Year break, and that the family get-togethers weren't too heated. Sadly, sometimes those family get-togethers are a time when opinions get overheated, and opinions that maybe should be kept quiet are expressed a little too forcibly. I have the right to express my opinion. Actually, no you don't. And I'll try to explain why that this often vehemently stated comment is unacceptable in a civilised society. We live in dangerous times, and words can be used as powerful weapons and should be used with care. Witnessing firsthand some of the very unpleasant bullying directed at one of the very talented contestants on a popular television programme recently shocked me. There was one particularly unpleasant post which was challenged by several people. As well as several expletives, the writer claimed, I've got the right to express my opinion, before his post was reported and subsequently blocked. Yes, we all have a right to an opinion, but we don't always have the right to express it, particularly if it is hurtful. We've been given the ability to think, reason and to express ourselves, but it doesn't mean that we should, and particularly if it upsets, harms or damages other people. Lack of empathy, understanding and kindness towards others is ultimately destructive, and increasing numbers of young people, particularly, have been driven to acute depression and even suicide in recent months. Personally, I find social media useful for keeping in contact with people that I would otherwise have lost contact with. But I'm also aware of the poisonous and destructive nature of this relatively new approach to communication if used unwisely. Would the writer of the unpleasant and destructive post that I referred to earlier have had the courage to say these things to the contestant if they came face to face? I think not. I suspect he's too much of a coward and is content to hide and express his venom behind a screen as a keyboard warrior. Also worrying is who knows what psychological and personality issues are lurking within this troubled man. Expressing controversial opinions and the right to do so have dominated the news recently. Following the well-publicised Garrick Alinica incident, where the BBC subsequently published guidelines as to what comments key presenters may or may not make in social media posts, Another presenter, Carol Vorderman, decided that this was a step too far. She decided to resign from her role as a radio presenter rather than to be gagged in the negative comments that she wished to make about the current government. Many would agree with Carol Vorderman's comments as a healthy commentary upon issues that cause serious public concern, whilst others vehemently disagree with her political views. Our guess on whether the BBC decision is correct depends upon the issue of the day and one's political views. I still might remember my mother's often used reprimand when I, whenever I crossed the boundary of what was acceptable or not. If I made a particularly sharp comment or was being unkind, she would glare at me with her grey penetrating eyes and I knew immediately that I'd done something that was unacceptable to her. If you cannot say something pleasant, then don't say it, Barry, she would declare sternly. If you are, if I argued against a reprimand, which I often would, she would order me to my bedroom. As I hurtled up the stairs to my bedroom, I'd feel the thwack of my mother's stick on the back of my knees. She kept a leather-bound wooden stick at the bottom of the stairs for this very purpose. There was no child line in those days. Maybe it was a little harsh in today's context, but it was effective, and I don't think it did me any harm, as I knew that her reprimand 
was based upon her unquestioning love for me. I tend to agree with many of today's commentators that social media has become more of a force for evil than good, which is a pity since it holds tremendous potential for good if a few basic rules are followed. The main one being, if you cannot say something pleasant, or at least not hurtful, then don't say it. You have been listening to I Have a Right to Express My Opinion by Barry Mahoney. If you'd like to find out more about me and my books, please go to my website www.barrymahoney.com and thank you for listening.